Okay, everybody, we're in part two of our receptacle family. This is going to probably be a four-part exercise. So, uh, first thing we want to do here now in this section, since we have our, our plate and our box, um, we want to go and set our visibility overrides. And here, we want the front and back to be off for the plate and we want the visibility to be off for uh, the junction box as well. Click OK. Now, what we want to do here now, we want to, I want to introduce to you some more new parameters. Uh, we're going to go in ifs and yes and no statements. So here we want to, we've got all our parameters set up that we created from from part one of this exercise. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go and we want to add some new parameters here. So, we want to hit the new type and we want to say horizontal. And then we want to select OK. We want to add a new family type and we'll call it horizontal. And we'll say um, this will be a yes no. It'll be an instance and we'll group it on the other and we'll say okay here. Now, next we want to add another family type. We'll call this vertical. We'll say OK. We want to add a family type, vertical. Group this under yes, no. Group this type of parameter is yes, no. Group under other type parameter and it's OK here. I don't know why this does this. I want that to sit right there. Now on the horizontal, I want to say equals not bracket vertical. Now, I hope you filled out that sheet, um, the family development planning sheet. This way you can have these parameters. You can have all this information in front of you. I have mine here, so it's a little bit, I think it's going to be easier. But you're going to have a little difficulty if you don't use it. So what I want to do here is, actually, I want to do this as well. I want to move this up. It's just me. You can use it however you like. So for side one, I want to say if vertical. comma, three inches, comma, four and a half inches, bracket, enter. Okay. I want to control C, control V. So here, for the second one, I want to say if four and a half, so basically I'm just rotating this thing around. And this should be three inches. And there, I want to control V. For number two, number three, I'm sorry, that should be two inches, and this should be three. I mean, okay, now, you can just copy what I'm doing if you like, but uh, if, if you really should just uh, fill out that family development sheet because 
It'll make life a lot easier for you. This one is three and two. Just so delete that. And hit enter. Now let's lock these. And I'll click apply. And there we have our rotation. So if I go to horizontal, I'll take this and I hit apply. So that's how we rotate our box and we learned a uh, few more parameters. So practice with this and we have a little more to go on this. We've got to add symbology and connections. So we'll pick those up in our next assignment, which will probably be tomorrow or later in the week. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this, like it. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.